going on guys, it is Boost HD here and as you can see from the title below we're going to be taking a look at do megapixels really matter? And it's kind of a double-edged sword here by answering this question because in some ways yes and but probably in most ways no. So we're going to be digging deeper into that and finding out where this whole myth arised from and we're going to be trying to answer that question. So when you go out and buy a camera, uh, the media tends to tell you that the, the, the more megapixels that the camera has, the better the image is going to look. And one of the main problems I'd like to point out first is that having really, really high megapixels is really going to almost take away the contrast, take away the color representation of the image. That's, that, that's not normally what happens when you have too many megapixels. But a very, very wise man with a square hat and long gown once told me is that there are three main factors to consider when looking at a camera, uh, whether it be DSLR, compact, or even a camcorder. And the first one is the lens. So the lens is probably only going to apply to DSLR cameras or camcorders that can that have interchangeable lenses. But obviously, you know, there's a massive, a wide range of different lenses you can get. You can get a prime, a wide angle, you can get a zoom, and you can also get a fisheye lens. So many more lenses you can go for, but these are just to name a few. And going with a very low end to mid kind of DSLR body and going with a high end lens is better than going for a high end DSLR body and a low end lens. So this is why the lens is so important because the lens pretty much is the, probably the most important component of the camera because without the lens you can't take the photo. So, so this is why the lens is probably top of the list here. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be looking at is the light. And it's always good to have a lot of light but not too much. I don't, when I say light, I don't mean go out and buy a massive, massive, like, a, like go and <laughs> take a lighthouse from somewhere, plant it in your room and start recording because that's just going to be too much light be back, back in. You don't want to have, well, go out and buy one massive light and that boom, booming right into the subject. That's going to, you know, whitewash the whole of the image. And then again, there's so many lights you can choose. Some you can get, you know, soft boxes, you can get hot shoe lights, and you can have like lights on tripods and things like that on boom poles. So there's so many methods of getting lights. You don't have to have, go out and buy, you don't have to feel you have to go out and buy one huge light and, and have that absolutely you know, cascading on the subject. So, and the final one is the person behind the camera, which is obviously the most important thing. So make sure that the camera is set up for the type of photography you want. So if you're doing sport, you're gonna want like a really, really fast shutter, for example. So this is just the main thing you need to consider even before you even looked at the megapixels. Because I can guarantee you, if I was to go out and buy a DSLR from about eight years ago, with like a six megapixel sensor, and put a really, really good lens on there, I can guarantee you I'm still gonna get some very good photos. So megapixels in this case don't always matter. Where megapixels do matter on the other hand is if you're going to be working for a media and you're going to be cropping out images like really really close into the subject or you're going to be uh, make, like creating billboards and massive posters where the image needs to be blown up about 10 times its original size. But up to A3 to A2 you don't really need to um, you don't really need to even think about the megapixels because the image will still retain its quality even at A2 size paper which is pretty good. And, but when I say don't look at megapixels at all, I don't mean completely, you know, forget about megapixels because I'm not saying go out and buy a 1.3 megapixel camera and that is going to take fantastic images, that's not what I'm saying. Consider megapixels, but don't really take megapixels as a priority over every other feature on the camera because it's just not going to work. So, to prove this theory, I've taken three different photos, well sorry, I've taken three of the same photo uh, with three different cameras. And these are all of the same subject, the same lighting conditions and on the same setting. So the first image was taken with my Nikon D3, D3100, as you can see, I'm using that to record. So that was taken with my Nikon D3100, so I'll let you view that. The second image was taken with my Hitachi camcorder, and that's got, oh sorry, the Nikon camera sorry, has got a 40 megapixel sensor, and this Hitachi camcorder has got an 80 megapixel sensor, so I'll, have you, I'll let you have a look at that. And finally, my second camera I used was a Kodak point and shoot or compact, and that's got an 8 megapixel sensor. So, take a look at that one. Now, I want you to tell me truthfully could you really see a massive difference between the image quality? And one thing I'd like to point out first, number one, is that the, the minus that you're viewing these images from, even watching this video from, is, is most likely to be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by. 720 so it's, you're not really going to be able to get the full impression of the image because what you're going to be seeing is only going to be 
of a 2 megapixel standard. So that's the highest you can ever get up to unless you have the money to invest in like a £20,000 smart or even uh, 4K TV. So the only th unless you really, really print these images out, you're not really going to tell the difference by viewing on a monitor, for example, because the monitor hasn't got, you know, it hasn't got a 40 megapixel resolution. So that's this is why megapixels are kind of a, a, a yes and no game, if you know what I mean, because yes, they do matter in some ways, but in other ways, they don't really matter, and it's not really going to affect the performance of the camera. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this small video useful. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and like me on Twitter. And yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Take care, and bye for now.